Hello. Have you been thinking about getting your house on the market in time for what is traditionally the busiest time of the year, the spring market? Here's some reasons why you ought to do that sooner rather than later. I'm Sandy Warner with Warner Realty Group. Uh, we've been talking recently in these videos about um, a lot of the talk around YouTube and on some of the, the news channels about how there's a bubble coming. And we've talked in pretty much detail uh, why we don't believe that's to be true. Uh, and those basic reasons are that uh, with the rising home prices, uh, something like homeowners, uh, homeowners, Every owner in the country basically achieved at least a $24,000 increase in homeownership wealth. We've seen record lows in uh, foreclosures. Obviously, this is because we have all sorts of loan modifications and um, reliefs for mortgage owners that are impacted by joblessness due to COVID. And we have uh, the strongest buyer's market combined with one of the smallest inventories, which is basically the exact opposite of what we saw in 2008. And those are the reasons we've been talking about why we're not expected to see a bubble. So if you've been thinking about whether or not it's time to capture the equity in your home, let's talk about why we want to do that sooner rather than later. One of the reasons we are seeing such a massive, uh, and I mean massive, uh, increase in demand for homes. Uh, we saw a 9.4% year-over-year gain in Rhode Island last year in buyer demand. Um, we had the highest buyer demand and the lowest inventory in January of 2021 that uh, my state MLS has seen in more than, uh, I think it was 10 years. Um, that is being driven by these record low interest rates. I think everyone remembers, I think it was December that we saw it actually under three. It was in the 2.9, 2.95 range. Well, what's happening now, and I'm going to start putting some slides up here for you, is um, the first one you're going to look at is this one that I keep saying to everybody is that headlines do more to terrify than they do to clarify. And that's obviously because they're just trying to get you to watch the news. That's their job. So we have to look at the actual data. And the first slide I want to put up for you comes from um, uh, MBA's AVP of Economic Forecasting by a guy named Joel Kahn. And that slide says, expectations of faster economic growth and inflation continue to push treasury yields and mortgage rates higher. Since hitting a survey low in December, the 30-year fixed rate, meaning the fixed interest mortgage rate, has slowly risen. And last week, now I'm filming this in March, so we're talking the last week, uh, the third and fourth week of February 2021, since the third or fourth week of February 21, the 30-year fixed rate was at its highest since November of 2020. The second slide we want to talk about is we talked uh, a couple times about the treasury yield and how the treasury yield may impact the mortgage rate. And the slide you've got up on the screen right now is showing the 10-year treasury rate uh, since October, uh, where it was at 0.68, climbing up to Today, now that date, it says today on the screen, that date is actually February 24th, 2021, and it had climbed to a rate of 1.2. Why is this important? Well, it's important because if you look at this next screen, uh, and this comes from Freddie Mac, uh, you know, the major uh, federal lender in the United States with a federal lender insurance company and a company called Macro Trends, they track this. And if you look at the data over the last almost 50 years. That's a long time. So that's a lot of data. It shows that the 30-year mortgage rate tends to move with the 10-year treasury rate. Now, if we go back for just a second, you'll see we just noticed that the 10-year treasury rate is inching up there. It's climbing, 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 climbing. And we know that mortgage rates for the last 50 years have tracked with that uh, treasury yield rate that suggests to us that we are going to see the mortgage rate start climbing. And what's really happening out there? Well, the reality is that mortgage rates are moving up. Uh, if you look at this statement put out by Sam Cater, uh, who's the chief economist at Freddie Mac, he says 
Reaching its highest point since mid-November, the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage averaged 2.81% this week. Again, this is back uh, February 18th. Uh, in 2021. Economic spending has improved. People are spending money due to the most recent stimulus, but supply chain shortages are calling, causing downstream inflation, leading to higher mortgage rates. Uh, while there are multiple temporary factors driving up rates, the underlying economic fundamentals point to rates remaining in the low 3% range for the year. So we're probably not going backwards. We're probably not going back to that 2%. Now, what does this mean for you as a seller? It means that we saw in January this confluence, this uh, these crazy 2.9% uh, insurance uh, mortgage rates and the lowest uh, inventory we had seen, uh, at least in my state, in Rhode Island and, and in Massachusetts, that was echoed, uh, that we had seen in 10 to 15 years. Well, we're now starting to see the treasury yield come up. We're starting to see the mortgage rates inch up. What's that going to do to home prices? Well, most estimates are saying that we're going to see home prices level out. So right now, there's all sorts of stories that all of us, uh, those of us who represent buyers uh, are are seeing that buyers are going in and they're offering 20000 30000 over asking in some communities. Um, we're seeing that in Rhode Island, in Warwick and West Warwick particularly for some reason, um, as the interest rates level out and start inching back up, as the spring market starts heating up and more inventory comes on, that's going to bring those home prices back a little bit more even. Where right now they've been on just this upwards trajectory, we're probably going to see a leveling out. So that means it's probably a good time if you've been waiting for the top, there's some indicators this could be the top. This could be where we're at this great combination of events. So if you're thinking about doing it, spring market is coming. You're about to get hit with a lot more competition. If your house is ready, if you want to talk about getting your house ready and you want to take advantage of the still really low mortgage rates, still pretty low inventory to get the most money for your house, give us a call. My name is Sandy Warner. I'm with Warner Realty Group in Newport, Rhode Island. You can call the office at 401-236-8685 or you can call me on my cell, 401-662-7204. Have a great day. Bye.